Hi guys, uh, on today's video, we are going to analyze FEC 75 or using smart money concepts. And then as you can see here, the overall direction was to the downside. We have been breaking structures uh, like on this area here, we broke structure, same as around here and around here we had like equal lows. And then we came back uh, as an order block around this area. And then we continue to break structure around here and around here and around here and around here so now what we do is that we will be focusing on the current market structure of which is this one around here and focusing like on this area here just because we have uh, a lot of imbalance around here so we are going to fill that imbalance or we are going to get like some type of an order block here so let's just uh draw out the overall structures and see if we can get like some entries so first things first uh, let me point out like the order block is around here uh, let me just use a uh, text some text get the text okay so i'll just use imb imbalance around this area here and then we have a major break of structure around this area here. And then we can use BOS around this area here. BOS. And then we have the overall break of structure also is around here. And we have another break of structure around this area here. And another one around here. So we are just going to focus on this one here, just because the market is currently at this area. And then we have an other block around this area here, just because it's the last candle that broke structure. Then we have another block around there. Then I'll put another other block around this area here. Just because we have like a minor break of structure around this area. So I'll just use like that one is reference and then you can see the overall structure is to the downside but i think we will feel like this imbalance around here before pushing back to the downside and then the last candle is around here for another other block if we try to feel like the overall imbalance around here then we can look for selling opportunities from this area or this area and then on this area you can look for a confirmation entry or a clear push to the downside and then you get like uh, maybe a other block around here so that you can get like some selling opportunities from there. So let me just remove a few of those. Let me just put it back. And then at the moment, you can switch to a lower time frame. Uh, I think we are done with our analysis on this one. And then let me just cater for this break of structure. And another one is around here. So yeah, let me just do this. And then let's just switch to our chat so that we can get like those entries. So on the our chat, we have like this type of price action. And then let me just try and filter out like this area here for that other block. So we can use like this one here, filter out everything and then just use this candlestick here. And then let's include the wick also. Then we have this type of price action and then break of structure around here. And then now we can just focus like on this area here. So we broke structure around here. Let me just do this put it back the way it was and then let's zoom in and just look at what we have around that area here so minor break of structure yeah and then we have an other block around here of which it was not filled and then pushing up we have a break of structure here and then uh, the last candle of which that broke structure was around
around this area here of which we filled it up and then now we are around this area here so what i think will happen on this one is that we can come back and fill this area here like this and then we look for buying opportunities from here to the upside and then you can take your long tool place it in between around here and then your stop loss is just below here and then you're targeting the highs and maybe we can just feel the overall imbalance and we can get like uh let me switch back to a higher time frame and maybe we can feel this overall imbalance around this area here and we can get like a long-term buy from here to here and then if that does not happen then we can look for a clear confirmation entry a confirmed entry on the lower time frames and then you'd get like a clear push to the downside and then the market will just come back up to test that uh that other block and then you get like those cells to reach those lows and then this would be your break of structure let me just do this this would be like your break of structure around this area here and then you get like another other block maybe around here so that you can take yourself so that is it for today's market breakdown and then i think we will get like an entry soon enough